Hello everyone, welcome back to my third lesson. Uh, the first lesson, second lesson, if you are new to this channel, please go watch my first and second lesson. So we have Arduino, uh, let me jump to this one. So we can we can see we have Arduino uh, UNA board and L293D motor shield board. I plug two servo motors and one DC motor, okay? So uh, this code demonstrate coordinate control of two servo motors and DC motor showing synchronized movements and timings. It's a great example of how to manipulate multiple types of motors simultaneously with Arduino and the RDF motor shield. Ideal for education content on tech focus, okay, for everyone. Now let's jump to the code. I'm going to do explanation. I already uh, have the code. I put it to the GitHub and the link you will find from my YouTube description field. Now let me explanation, give me a good explanation. I also put explanation each code, but I also like to give you a, a detailed explanation. So the first one, the code begins by including the two libraries. Servo.h is the use for controlling the servo motors and afmotor.h is for controlling motor using the ADRIF motor shield. These libraries provide the necessary functions and commands to control the motors easily. The next one, uh, here are two server objects. Server 1, Server 2 are created to control two separate server motors. Additionally, an AF motor, uh, motor object named motor is created to control the DC motor connected to the M1 uh, a terminal, okay, uh, M1 connect the terminal on the ADRIF motor shield. Uh, let's go to the next one. So the setup function is run once the once the Arduino starts. It 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 attach the servo motors to digital pin nine and ten. The DC motor speed is set to its maximum two fifty five. The serial begins 9600 initiate the serial communication for debugging purposes. I like to debug this, so I put the serial motors, but if you don't like it, you can remove that. Okay, it's good to have uh, debugging options. Uh, so you can see void, uh, uh, the loop functions contains the main logic that will run continuously. It controls the movement of the server motors and operation of the DC motor. Um, and after that, uh, you can see if angle uh, uh, my bad so this part this part okay for indeed so th this is for the for loop uh, gradually moves server one from 0 to 180 uh, degrees server two from 180 to zero, uh, zero degrees simultaneously, creating opposite movements. The delay five seconds provides a short uh, pause. Provides a short pause between each degree of movement, making a server movement faster. And let's go to the this stuff. Okay, so the servo one reaches to 90 degrees. The DC motor start and runs for 500 milliseconds of half a second before stopping. This demonstrates the synchronized operation between the servers and the DC motor. And we can see the delay stuff in here. So after completing the forward motion, the program pause of half a second then it reverses the server's movement back to their starting position, followed by another half second pause before repeating the loop. Uh, as I, I told you, so this code demonstrates the coordinating of the two of uh, two server motors and a DC motor, showing synchronized movements and timings. It's a great example how to manipulate multiple types of motor simultaneously with Arduino and the Adrif motor shield. Ideal for education content for people who like to do uh, like this kind of project. 
so I uh, will create another lesson for lesson four. We will jump into a different kind of stuff like doing uh, different coding. Um, so thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. We will create more uh, contents in my upcoming videos.